unfortunately can't pickpocket a wolf. Nowhere to stick the poison, and now that I said that out loud, I'm just imagining. And really wishing that I wasn't. Oh, they were feeding people to the wolves. That's a relief. It's been bugging me as to why they would have an illicit gambling operation this far from civilization. Ordinarily, you'd have this on the outskirts of the city, somewhere out of sight, perhaps um, having bribed the odd guard to look the other way. But I suppose if you're having people and wolves fight, the authorities might require somewhat steeper bribes. That explains that. It was bothering me. I mean, gamblers coming this far out to gamble on dogfights. It just seemed a little unlikely, but gambling on human versus wolf fights, that makes a little more sense. Mildly disgusting, obviously, but uh, at least it makes more sense. It clears up one nagging little issue I had with the entire operation. However... That operation has now been shut down, which will hopefully make Yar Lila extremely happy and in the mood to bestow titles and houses. Do you bestow houses? You probably don't bestow houses. It's not like you just throw them at people. That would be very impressive if you could, but um, yes. I've never actually seen any gambling establishments, even here in Riften, and you would have thought this place would have been perfect for such. You know, even if it was just a small place. We never see people playing cards in the inn, for example. You don't think gambling is illegal here, do you? I mean, there's the card guy in... Uh, I can't remember what it was called. It's in Windhelm. Yeah, you've probably blanked it from your memory as well. But I never really see gamblers that much. Perhaps it's a Nord thing. You can get drunk, you can pick fights, but you can't play dice. Excuse me, my friend. Or cards. Did uh, we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. Yeah, terrible, terrible memory problem. I'm... As Yar Leila's house car. I would ask that you maintain respectable distance from her at all times. Look, I realize it's breakfast time, but I have good news. I have been out doing important tasks, unlike some people. Ya Lila! What can I do for you? The Crags Lane operation has been stopped. Permanently, if you get my drift. Well done. Your continued efforts have been of great benefit to the people of Riften. Allow me to present you with this compensation for your selfless efforts. It's an axe. That's that's very nice. Is there anything else I can do to, uh, you know, help out in Riften? Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you'd visit us again. I've been informed by my steward that you I made never quite left. an impression in the Rift. Several of our citizens have expressed their admiration. Ah, uh, well... That's nice. Much like Mio, you've become champion of our hold, helping people with their difficulties and providing assistance for their needs. As the Jarl of Riften, I feel it's my duty to honor your selfless behavior by honoring you with the title Thane of Riften. Nice! So I've already helped enough. I mean, of course I've helped enough people. I've been very helpful. I would be honored to accept. Before I can present you with the title, there's but a single requirement you must fulfill. A Thane of Riften is expected to maintain permanent residence within the city walls. My steward has such a home available to you for purchase. I think yes. you'll find the accommodations to be most pleasing. When the house is yours, return to me and I will present you the title. Okay. Good journey to you. Uh, thank you. Um, and Uriel, you're the... Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. I'd very much like to buy a house in the city, which it 
apparently is fairly well priced. Uh, yes. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Uh, I, on second thought, perhaps I'll... No, 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 no. Give it to me. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. Honeyside, what do you do around here? Tell me about the Blackbriar family. Um... No, 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 no. I'm just... You're welcome in Riften. As long as you continue to obey our laws. I, 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 of course I will obey them. I've got a house. I've got a house. I've got a house. Honeyside. That's the place that's... It's on the opposite side of the city. Is that good or bad? Proximity to the palace is usually a, a status thing, but... To be honest, I'm not totally sure that's true in Riften. It was over here. It's also... A house that has an exit out into Skyrim. I think it's... Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it has a it has a, an exit out to Skyrim, which means I will be able to come in and out of Riften without being seen. My God, this place is disgusting. Disgusting. I mean... Really, seriously, I mean... Okay, that's the... Ooh, aquamarine wine glass. That sounds like mm, something... Yum, yum, yum. A sweet roll never disappoints. That is nice. Songs of the Return. I mean... It's... I mean, look at this. No wonder this house has not been bought by anyone. I mean, apart from the fact that they have these ridiculous rules about who they sell houses to, it's not like people are going to be queuing up. To... Right. We're going to get all of the improvements. Good grief. Yes, we're going to get all of the improvements, because usually when they come and decorate the place, they clean all the cobwebs, which is... going to be... A delicious sweet roll down the hatch. Dude! Slow down. I didn't acquire that many. All right. This is going to be very convenient. No more having to swim and try and sneak in. It, oh, good grief. Night vision. Not that I should actually need to sneak in again, but this is actually really convenient. We have a back way in. We can just sort of... R Not that we're ever really going to spend much time here, although it's nice to have our own place. Right. Let's get back and order all of the home improvements. Oh, and speak to the Jarl and get the title. Replace the enchanting lab with a child's room. No, if I have to choose either. Although, I'm wondering, will 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 the house have a spare bed for Inigo here? Because, you know, having the child's room... It's a little insulting to Inigo, but... Well, we'll, no, 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 we'll, 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 we'll stay with the enchanting lab for now. And we'll, we'll see how many rooms... Go. No, but anyway, uh, no, that is, that is fine. Thank you very much. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm going to check the others. Tell me about the... Bla I've not really spoken to anyone in the palace, have I? Tell me about the Blackbriar family. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim, the Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. But she's not a Thane or anything, right? I mean, I'm wondering if I sort of, from a from a from a court perspective, when I become a Thane, will I will I outrank her in that respect? And how will she feel about that? Tell me about the Thieves Guild. I'd hardly call them a guild, more like unorganized rabble. Uh. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. Oh, no, no, I totally agree. No threat at all. Don't waste any resources on them. Absolutely. You're welcome in Riften. 
As long as you continue to obey our laws. I'm a little peeved at her analysis, but I suppose I should actually be... As Yar Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Go away and get an outfit that looks more you. That would be one with Did you fur have some sort of official business and here? dirt and no style. Huh? Okay! Yarl Lila! What can I do for you? What is your stance on the wall? I've purchased Honeyside. It's very nice. It's going to need a bit of a clean, but it's very nice. Thank you very much. Then allow me to officially welcome you to Riften. You'll make a fine addition to our city. All that remains now is to bestow the title upon you. Uh, uh, and again, no, no ceremony, probably. Just uh, thanks. I should be the one thanking you. You've solved more problems in the short time you've been here than anyone in my court has their entire careers. Really? You've been a beacon of hope in these dark times. Can I remind for everyone my of that? People, and I will never forget it. A beacon of hope! Therefore, by my authority as Jarl, I pronounce you Thane of Riften and award you all the benefits befitting your station. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Blade of the Rift gained. Thank you. Good journey to you. Uh, thank you very much. A beacon of hope. Did you hear that, Inigo? I am a beacon of hope. Yes, and I'm, th I'm the Thane of Riften. Am I the Thane of... Well, Riften means the Rift. It's Nordic for the Rift. But the Hold is the Rift and the City is the Rift. I'm the Thane of the Hold, damned Hold. I'm assuming I'm still the Thane of Huffingard. I should probably go and check with the palace next time we're there and uh, make sure they're okay with this. Ooh, I got a letter. I got a letter from Falk Fight. We'll read that later. We will read that later. For now, what I want to do is wander around a little and just sort of enjoy being a Thane. I wonder if I could find Maven and have a chat to her. And would she be a little politer now? I've never seen me all. No, so that's three for you wearing. The city really gets to her. Mjol, yes, that's the woman with the extremely large axe. I wonder if she'll be impressed by my new title. Yeah, Maven Blackbriar is the perfect example of the perception of power. She has influence with the Thieves Guild. Well, she does if I allow it. She has influence with the Dark Brotherhood, but she doesn't get any contracts fulfilled without my say-so. She has influence at the court, but she has no title. She's not a Thane. And yet she can whisper in the ear of the Jarl. She has power because everyone thinks she has power. She's like a middleman. She sits between all the various power sources and kind of acts like she's in control of all of them, even though she really isn't. And yet that perception gives her power. If she came to me and said, I need you to steal something, I would prioritize her wishes above any other client. If she asked me to have someone murdered, I would almost certainly have them murdered. And I'm sure if she went to speak to the Jarl, the Jarl would listen to her. The perception of power. You've got to admire that. Although, I suppose I should also worry that now that I've begun to acquire power myself, I may be seen as a threat to her. I don't think she can have much done to me that we can't handle. But that might not be the best way to think of things. That's when someone usually surprises you. I mean, the thing is, is my position is not the same as hers. I'm not trying to be the middleman. So in actual fact, I don't think our interests will ever clash. In fact, they will probably always align. Still, definitely something to think about with, uh, with her. Somebody to worry about.
Yes, indeed. All right, we've spent enough time down here. Let's get back up top and see if they finished with the decorations and uh, perhaps even think about spending a night in our new abode. We have a garden and it's pretty well stocked. We also have a chicken. We have two chickens. Are these chickens mine? I Can I kill them and eat them? Or will they lay eggs for me? That would be nice, I suppose. Or are they just the neighbor's chickens? Because if so, I'd like them arrested. Pretty sure that's our garden. Okay. Saw something weird for a second. Right, let's go and have a look inside. Oh. Oh, right, yes. Hello? Oh. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Um, I'm a thane. What does that mean? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Right. Thank you very much. I wish I could be there with you. Stay sharp out there. So you're just, you're just sort of going to hang around here, ah, and uh, I can smell the forest and long the lake life from to you, here. Thane. Okay, one at a time, please. One at a time. I didn't put my um torch bug lan lantern on. That's a little. What do you need, my thane? I need you to stop interrupting me. Could you be like a silent house, Carl? Kind of thing. Uh, okay, so this does look a little nicer, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Yes, indeed. I almost feel like maybe we should leave a few of them there just because, you know, we should have sweet rolls lying around. Mmm, yummy. There goes my last sweet roll. Well, well, I enjoyed our time together. Dude, we have got to work on your hints. Yes, we do. I'll, I'll, I'll sort you out in a little while. All right. I am your sword and your shield. No, you're not. You're my house, Carl. You wouldn't fit in my belt. Okay, right. So this is a little pokey, really, isn't it? I mean, what do you need? My I mean, don't get me wrong. It's it's better than. It's, it's better than staying in the rat way. That is for sure. Okay, so there's an... Oh, this is probably where the house car will stay. Ah, enchanting. Okay, that is a little weird, isn't it? I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting some strange things in my eyes. I am... Um, we could turn this into a kid's room for you, Inigo. I suppose. I don't really need enchanting, do I? Oh, what I do need is some food. You sh... Blade of the Rift. Chance to paralyze the target for one second. That is... Oh, that reminds me. I need to pick up the ghost blade. Yes, I do. Um... I also need to improve that. I'm wondering what it would take to improve that. We should speak to Yorland Greymane about that. How does it look? It's very interesting. I love the color. Yes, I do. I do like the color. And it paralyzes. Now, it doesn't paralyze as long as my poisons do, but of, oh, and it will require charges. But a second is usually all you need if you're hitting somebody repeatedly. You know, I mean, usually my paralyzed poisons are best if I uh, slip them to someone who is unaware. But if I'm busy hacking at someone, perhaps that might actually work. Yes, indeed. Anyway, let's focus. What a cozy building. It is cozy. Cozy is a good way to describe it. I am thinking, oh, frost salts, fire salt, glow, dust. We can, we can, we can come and collect some of the other stuff later. But glow dust is what I'm always in need of. 
paralysis. That's... Do I really want giant's toes up there? Right, you know what? Poison recipe, damage, health. Uh, probably don't need that, but hey. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave most of this stuff down here because it makes the place look nice. I'll think about changing the enchantment thing to a kid's room for you. This is my... Long life to you, Thane. We could just go and tell her to guard outside and you could have the other bed, but that's probably not the way this is supposed to work. This is my um, sneaky way in, but I'm wondering if they've added any furniture out here. Something... Okay, we got a tanning rack and a... Nice! Okay. Oh, in a go. Look at this. Oh, and I'm hungry as well. I am hungry. I will aid you if I can. You can sit there in the sun, because I know you like the sun. I'm going to sit here. Shall I amuse myself, or are you sticking around? That depends on how you intend to amuse yourself. I wonder when Langley will call us again. <sighs> My mind is nervous. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping never, but I suspect I'm not that lucky. Out of curiosity, how are... What is on your mind? I'm thinking how happy I am you have given me another chance. I will not waste it. Excellent, brilliant. Uh, yeah, that's... It's a shame you won't sing me songs while we're sat here. Oh, will you? Yes, my friend. I need you to do something. What would you have me do? How can I help you? Uh, no, friend? it's okay. I just was thinking maybe we could sing while we uh, while we enjoyed the um the fog. I wonder what our next adventure will be. Something exciting, I hope. I was thinking we need to well, first of all, we need to go to solitude to check everything is okay there. I want to know if there's a problem with me being the thane of two places. Actually, that does remind me Letter from Falk Fireber. Leonard, over the last few days, we've had some disturbing information come to light regarding the events at Wolf Skull Cave and the summoning and binding ritual you interrupted there. Given your involvement with that event, I'm asking you to return to Solitude to help us once more. Um, I'm wary of putting the details in print. Please come and see me at the Blue Palace. Sincerely, Falk Firebeard. Um... Surely at this point I could sort of say, look, seriously, haven't I done enough? I don't have to keep impressing people to stay a thane, do I? Assuming that I can be a thane in more than one hold, I'm also going to assume I can be a thane in all of the holds. And that would seem to be the obvious plan here. That does, of course, beg the question, where next? And I have some, um, well, mixed feelings about that. You see, there's a side of me thinking Markarth. It's one of the places I, I feel like I know the least. One of the places that I've got influence over with the Thieves' Guild, and yet, for some reason, I feel like I'm missing something. I get the feeling Markarth is a city that's more than just a rich city. It's a city of intrigue. I feel there is something going on there. There is also the Understone Keep, and there's an archaeologist there, and of course that could be interesting. Perhaps we could get some um, cooperation going, or perhaps I could, well, beat him to it. I do know he's searching for things there. So there is a side of me thinking Markarth. Then, of course, there's Whiterun. Center of Skyrim, but it's a place I know well. There's Windhelm. Let's leave that for, like, you know, a seriously rainy day. Now, Winterhold is also another that does strike me as interesting. I know almost nothing about Winterhold, and I have no influence there whatsoever. The same is true of Dawnstar. I believe that's called the Pale... Isn't it the hold there? 
But of course, I do have some influence in Dawnstar, with uh, the Sanctuary being there. But Winterhold, I have this one person I know in the college, and that's it. Now, it did seem a bit bleak, and perhaps there's no real reason to have influence there. But at the same time, there is a wizard's college there. I would kind of like to know what was going on and have the option to influence it. So that you see, there's, there's, there's a lot of different things to think. I am thinking Markarth, though. And a, a big part of the reason for Markarth is uh, the task I was given by the, um, the Jarl there was up at Deepwood Redoubt. And there's also some assassin's gear in that locale that I need to find. So I am thinking that. Before I do anything, though... I'm going to head back to Solitude and deliver a lot of things to the museum and speak to Falk Firebird. Bird? Beard! Why do I keep call, thinking Firebird? Um, Falk Phoenix. I'm going to also swing by Whiterun. I want to pick up my Ghost Blade. Oh, this is awesome. And ask about the new dagger that I have and see how hard it would be to have that upgraded. Out of curiosity, where are... Ah. Oh. Well, my horse is there. We're going by carriage anyway. Unfortunately, we got here too late last night to be able to pick up the goods, so we had to spend the night here. Wasn't too bad. I had a job to do here, and I managed to acquire a few more sweet rolls. So, you know, Silver lining? My poor Frally, I think Thorod's still alive, but I know better. Okay, um, I'd like to pick up my items, if they're ready. Are they? I suppose so, yes. Nice! All right! 350 septims to get that done. You know what? It was worth it. Um, oh, I've missed you. I don't want to have the torch bug lantern on. Whilst we're hit... We grey mains got just as much to be proud of as them battle boards. But you won't see us with our noses in the air. Okay, that's nice. Um... Can you hone another weapon for me? As much as can be expected, yes. It's made of a strange green material. I'm not totally sure we're going to have the required... Ooh. That does improve it quite a lot. But it, it requires refined malachite. I'm going to guess you don't have any. Got a lot of steel to shape. Let's have a look. Gods be praised. Now, I might have... No. I might have some at the museum. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I'm not totally sure I do. I don't remember ever finding any refined malachite. Although, you know, you never know. I will check. I should keep my eyes open at the various different traders for that. Because I would like that dagger to be improved. It really did seem to make a huge difference. Why does everyone look a little... Does everyone look a little... I don't know. Like they just stood around waiting for something. Oh, well. Never mind. Let's get to Solitude and speak to Falk and take all of this stuff to the museum. It looks like they weren't lying. There is a stone quarry right here near this farm. Now, I have got yes, my friend. a great game for you to play. I need to give you something. Okay. Do you remember how much fun you had trying to wield the, uh, the pickaxe? Dual wield. Yeah? Well, I now have a Let us go. cool game you... I will aid you if I can. ...can play. I am sorry. That is beyond me. No, no, just... No. Oh, come on! I regret I cannot do that. You can! You take the pickaxe out, you just... You just, just... 
Shush, shush. No, you take the pickaxe out as well and mine it. Hit it with the pickaxe. Just, just. You're ignoring me now. I'll give you a sweet roll. Look at you go. You are a mining machine. I'm not talking to you. And I'm not getting you any more bloody sweet rolls. All I can say is you better help me out with the actual construction of the Explorer Society building. Or you're on a diet of like... Celery and carrots for the next week. Yes, you are. Before we take a look at that, let's just dump this stuff into the museum and get it placed. So we're still missing the Wolf Queen Volume 6 by the looks of things. Oh boy, I could just see them using that to fight Daedra. Hiya! What? It's a library. Books. You know, not exactly the greatest weapon against Daedra, although, I don't know, I'm not exactly an expert on it. Perhaps that's how you fight them. You just throw wads of paper at them and scream, go away and read this, so they get all confused. I'm wondering if... I should move the items that are in the, uh, the cistern in Riften here. There seem to be a few places spare, and I'm pretty sure I've got some items, like, for example, the model ship and the hunting brew decanter, and definitely the queen bee statue. But I'm, sh I'm fairly sure things like the jeweled flagon, haven't I... Haven't I got those in the cistern as well? Mmm, a delicious sweet roll down the hatch. Dude, that's two you've eaten in the last, I don't know, 20 seconds. We're going to run out. When did I give you that shield? Give me that shield. Uh -huh. I should have everything I need. Yes, I do. Let's get the guild house frame completed. Yum, yum, yum. I'm not saying we didn't do a good job. I'm just saying we seem to have forgotten to, uh, you know, make a doorway. That could be important. You know, walls are good, walls are good, but to get inside of a wall, or at least, you know, when it's like four walls, in a square formation, you generally need a doorway. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll knock something through. Right, what's next? A roof. Clay, do I have clay? I may have clay. Apparently, we finished it in the nick of time in a go. The bad weather has arrived, but look at that. That is awesome. We have outdone ourselves. Yes, we have. Oh. Okay. Kind of a view and a harp. Okay. What were we drinking when we were building this in a go? What? I mean, I'm just, I, I think I went on to sort of autopilot. Okay. You don't think Jarl Elisif minds the fact that we built this right at the back of her palace? What on earth? Je 
What were we doing, Inigo? I think we got a bit carried away, mate. I think we got a little, um... Yeah! But still... Okay. Fish battle? Can we fish? Can we... Can we go fishing from here? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what that is. It's a... A bloody... Hi! Oh, we're supposed to go and tell Orion about the. Let's just peek. Let's just, let's just bask in the glory of. Okay. Academia perk tree. Okay. I have no idea what they are. We will. We will. Okay. There's a globe and there's a trophy case and more stuff. What the? Wait. Oh, is this? Oh, brilliant! It's um, it's connected. the The museum elves will. Oh yes. Oh. Oh right. This will. This will be where all of our explorers. Oh yes, yes. We are gonna have people to go out and get stuff for us. The firmament. All oh, right. Do we have any books? Do we have the wolf queen? Oh, the history of Daggerfall. Mm, don't have that one. Wolf Queen Five. We've got. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm liking this. I am l Quartermaster's Ledger. Oh, we have got to go and tell Orion about this. We have got to tell Orion about this. Because this is awesome. Orion! Orion! Greetings. Gre greetings! Hmm? The guild house, it's done! Ah, wonderful. You work quickly, my friend. Come, let's have a look. No, then I'll really? show you what I have come up with for the charter. Okay. We built a guild house, you came up with a charter. I mean, I'm not complaining exactly, but that does seem to be a little, like, unfair in the uh, allocation of... Do uh, you know what? Never mind. Come and see what we've built. I think you're going to be impressed, at least a lot more impressed than Jarl Elisif will wow. be when she looks out of a bloody window. But never mind. I'm, 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 I'm in with her pretty well. I'm hoping she'll... Uh, not have us viciously executed. Hey, she probably she might look out and think, "Hey, that looks awesome. I shall go visit there and and give it my blessing." Yes, that would be cool, actually. The royal endorsement. I got to admit, it. Did this would be a bit more? Um, will it be better if? The sun was shining, although I suppose you could argue a stormy afternoon is all the uh, drama you need for an occasion like this. What do you think? Just come look around the back. Come and look around the back. Come and look. Just, just... Trust me. Come and look. Look at this! I have no idea what that is. Um, I... Uh, we were eating a lot of sweet rolls, and there may have been some wine involved. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Just come and have a look. Look at this. Oh. Amazing. Simply amazing, my friend. You truly are quite the craftsman, I must say. A craftsman, yes. yes. This will do quite nicely. 
thick. Plenty of space, a good number of beds, supplies. Yes, you seem to have covered all the basics very well. Now let's discuss the Charter. I think you'll find it acceptable. The laws of the Charter are thus. All knowledge gathered by the Guild is to be shared freely, with credit going to those who discovered it and provided it to the Guild. Okay. The Guild will fund expeditions, paying wages to members based on their rank, and any items of significance uncovered during the expedition will be at the discretion of the Guildmaster and Chief Librarian as to their importance and if they should be displayed in the museum. Other spoils will be sold and the funds distributed to the Guild and members of the expedition. The Guild will also maintain a quarter office, where an appointed quartermaster will acquire and make available for purchase at a discount. Supplies for members and expeditions. So, how does that sound? P -p -p pretty good. We're sharing knowledge freely, but but you know what? That's that's not that's not a bad idea actually. And you're the chief librarian, and I'm the guild master, am I? And we get to decide which items go on display. This this could be good. Yes. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Good, good. Well, then I think we can start spreading the word and gathering possible members. Here is some contact information for your potential candidates that came by previously. You should check into these and I'll keep my ear open. And in the meantime, if you need me, I'll be at the museum. Let me know if you need anything. I'll let you know if anything develops on my end. So you need oh, me! my friend, I have a fantastic opportunity for you. And it has only a small window of opportunity to pursue. Well, uh, well what would that be? You're the one who said you were going to disappear. I have to recruit people but but oh my friend i have a fantastic opportunity for you and it has only a small window of opportunity to pursue i was contacted by a relic collector in the province of elsewhere who is in possession of the staff of indaris he has offered to donate the staff to the museum for safekeeping he worries that the staff could fall into the hands of the thalmor and with all the struggles occurring there as of late with thalmor occupation and a local resistance he is already on well, his way to us and should arrive shortly. Could you go and meet him at the guild house? Sure, I'm already there, dude! Phenomenal. Do give him my regards. I'll give him your reg regards. I'll give him your regards. Meet Rakis at the guild house. We gotta meet someone called Rakis at the guild house. He's not here. Yeah, okay, we'll we'll check those later, I guess. Maybe he's gonna meet us outside. The guild house. This is the guild house. Okay. Oh, he's, he's on his way. He's on his way. We'll we'll meet him here. Right, he's on his way. We'll meet him here later. Okay, what have we got? Reset archaeology perks. Uh, Explorers Guild Charter. Credo of the Guild. All right, okay. Explorers Society Guild Charter, written by Orion Morellus, Chief Librarian. Credo of the Credo of the Guild. The Explorer Society stands for the preservation of history and the sake of posterity so that all people, be they man or mayor, may know of the glories and mistakes of the past and better themselves with knowledge. Okay. All knowledge gained or added to the Guild is to be shared collectively with all members. Discoveries made by members will be attributed to the discovering members, which is fair enough. The Guild will plan undertake large expedition for multiple members, but individual members are also welcome to undertake personal explorations or work with fellow members outside the Guild. This is all, this is everything he said earlier. Okay. Academia Perk Tree. Where? Who? Okay. Ah, uh, Quartermaster. You must pre purchase prerequisites first. What? What are the Nordic speciality? Provides ten percent resistance to fire and fifteen percent bonus to critical damage and chance. To Draugr and Skeletons. Do you want to purchase this per... Not yet. I don't quite... No. Expedition Perk Tree? Excavation Perk Tree. Academia Perk Tree. Oh. So... God, my stomach just 
really says things at the wrong moment, doesn't it? So basically, pack it in, rank one. Increase cannon capacity by 50. Would you like to purchase this perk? Very probably. Excavation perk tree. So those excavate those explorer perks I've been getting, I can excavator. Gain one additional fragment at dis dig sites with 20% chance of an extra keystone. Oh, so this would get me more stuff. Would that get me more experience for more perks so I would earn these? Oh, this is... Oh, this is this is a little overwhelming. Salvager, you must purchase the... Right, Dwemus. Okay. So I can become a Dwemus specialist, a Nordic specialist, or a Falmer specialist, or benefactor. Merchants pay a higher price for your wares. Would you like to purchase this perk? Yes. I think so. Quartermaster. Uh, has more gold for buying a larger inventory. Would you like to purchase this perk? Probably. Let's... Let's... Let's meet a quartermaster first. Let's... Maybe read these a bit more carefully and have a... Have a... A bit of a think before we... Do... I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little overwhelmed. Where was this guy? He was supposed to be meeting us. Probably we have to wait a while for him to turn up. Whoa! 